What we have to look at uh, principally is the ability for institutional capital to come in and more specifically if we take Poland which is probably a better example today than Hungary um, where now Poland is an IPRA indexed market so from an institutional capital perspective which are the deep longer term pockets um, Poland is, is very on par with markets such as Germany. Uh, so the migration of these uh, markets to um, indexed um, um, status I think is, is going to help and I hope to see Hungary and the Czech Republic follow suit as Poland has led the way uh, for that um, uh, recognition. And the sooner we can get to a point where these markets are recognized as institutional grade, I think the more we will continue to see longer term capital and also perhaps a consolidation of ownership, um, which I think will also ultimately help the investment climate. Um, we've seen very little consolidation of ownership across not just um, eastern parts of Central Europe, but also in markets like Germany, where we have a lot of fragmented ownership of um, owners, for example, in the commercial office space. So I believe that we, what we see is a trending towards consolidation, as we've seen in other markets or other asset classes, such as residential in Germany or um, retail in other parts of Europe.